I got involved in a discussion on the INAV Discord about uh, whether a windmilling prop uh, or a stopped prop provides more drag. Um, I looked into some of the uh, documents online and research. It looks like people generally agree that a windmilling prop is going to provide uh, more air resistance. We're going to try it out on this thing. Got some pretty big props on it. These are seven inches. So we got two of them. I figured, if nothing else, the uh, effect should be uh, noticeable just because the propellers are pretty big on that one. A lot of propeller area. Um, so the plan is going to be to take it off, uh, get it in the air, get up to a, a stabilized cruise altitude, um, cut the throttle, and then nose down at different pitch angles um, to kind of just measure what the stabilized speed ends up being uh, for the craft. So then I'll land, I'll turn on the ESC brake, and we'll see if it makes any difference to um, what the velocities are um, as it's going along. Uh, now it ended up being a little bit windier. Uh, right now it's died down a little bit, but earlier is throwing my chair around. Um, I don't think that'll matter though. We're gonna be in the air, so it's all relative anyway. Um, I've got an airspeed sensor on here too, so that'll end up uh, kind of negating any sort of ground speed error. Um, so I think it'll be an interesting test. We'll kind of see what the uh, data ends up looking like. All right, so my plan was to basically get up to about 400 feet and fly into the wind, chop the throttle, and then go down at different angles. Um, I've got a uh, OSD screen set up here that I thought might be helpful for this. Um, I've got the pitch angle right in the center of the screen, GPS speed over there on the top left, I've got air speed, that's from the pedo. Below that's throttle, and then below that is the uh, ESC telemetry on the, uh, the current speed of the motors. All right, so we just hit 400. Chop the throttle, and just kind of see what happens here. Looks like we're settling in about pitch down of three degrees, and it looks like airspeed's staying about 30 miles an hour. It's starting to try to, to uh, stall a little bit there, so we'll pull out again. Work our way back up. So three degrees is kind of the baseline there. It looks like it doesn't make much sense to go uh, below three degrees, otherwise it's just not gonna be stable. So I think next is probably try it about five degrees and see what happens there. All right, we're right at 400 feet. We'll chop throttle and we'll angle down at five degrees and see what it does. There we are, I'll well, we'll say five and a half maybe. Five and a half, six. 33 miles an hour. That's a pretty stable descent. All right, so we're back at 400 feet. We'll do negative 10 degrees this time. Chop throttle. See if we can get to right at 10. We are at 10 degrees. Stabilized. Looks like about 38, 39 degree or 39 miles per hour. I can certainly hear it windmilling too, so I can tell that the props are being spun. At least when the uh, when the wind isn't blowing. Let's, probably, let's try to do 15 degrees this time. Drop throttle. Oop, too far. 
15 degrees. Looks like we got about 46. Alright, we're back at 400 foot. Last time was 15 degrees, so this time we'll try 20. Drop the throttle, angle it down to about 20. At 20 degrees, looks like 45, 46. Twenty-five degrees. All right, that's about fifty miles an hour. All right, so last one was twenty-five degrees. We'll do something a little bit different this time. We'll do uh, thirty-five, just to give us another data point a little further out. And I think that's about enough, and we'll come in. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-five. It's like sixty-three or sixty-four. There's not much time to uh, get stabilized there. Right, we'll come around land. We'll change the ESC, and then we'll do this again. All right, I don't know how well you can see this. The screen isn't great in the sun, but it's connected to the two ESCs. So we're reading the setup. And it says brake on stop is off. We're gonna turn that all the way on to 100. Right. Right, successful, okay. So I think the first thing we did was level and just power off and see what it does as far as gliding. It's got about two degrees of maybe three, a little bit less maybe than what we saw before. I'm still getting an RPM reading on the left from the telemetry. That's pretty slow, if it is. And I think performance here is about the same. We are at 400 feet again. I think what we did last time was six degrees. Let's do that. Pretty close to six, bouncing around on either side. Thirty-one, thirty miles per hour. All right, let's do the ten degrees. Level off. Throttle chop. Degrees. Thirty five, thirty six. pretty hard right now. There's 15 degrees. I don't know 
understand the oscillation. I don't, I don't really understand why it's doing that. I wonder if it has something to do with the uh, the prop speed or something. I don't know. It's really odd. All right, 20 degrees now. And from what I recall of uh, the air speeds from before, I, I think it may be that this is pretty negligible effect. All right, 25 degrees, here we go. It's like 50. The big one, 35 degrees. All right, 35. Fly by and go land. Yeah, so of course now it's still, um, but I mean, from my quick take, I didn't really notice a whole lot of a difference between flying with the brake on and with it off. So it'll be interesting to see in the details of the uh, the data. I think it's gonna be kind of a wash, probably within the noise. Um, so it'll be interesting to graph it out. I think that's probably gonna be the key. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how different those curves are of uh, pitch angle versus the uh, stabilized speed it gets to. Um, otherwise though, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the next step. See what the graph looks like.